Hey guys, it's been a really long time since I put together a video almost most of the summer, I think. Uh, I haven't posted it at all. I did record most of the actual process of this video a while ago, but I didn't get around to finishing it up. So we're gonna do this painting right here. So it's really simple, just some cows in the foreground, some grass, and then some soft trees in the background. And I'll walk you through all the steps I did to, to get to the end, this end process. And uh, without further ado, we'll jump right in. All right, so as you can see, I've already done the, the sketch up. It's it's super simple sketch. Basically just got the horizon lines um, for the cows in the back. Some of them, I just they're just little bit shapes. I, I really wanted this to not get stuck in the details. Probably the only things that I'll have de detail will be these three. <clears throat> Maybe these guys a little bit. And the rest, I just want them to be shapes that kind of communicate cows in a field. Um, but for now, we're working on the sky. Uh, the trees and foliage behind again, that's going to be pretty loose and then the the grass ahead So I'm using a big brush, but basically just use the biggest brush that you can at this point I could use a smaller one, but I find if I do um, It's hard for me to keep on top of uh, the wetness So I'm gonna keep my tray over here. I'm gonna try to remember to hold it over there It's not the best place for me, but that way you guys can see it at least and I'm putting in some ultramarine right there. Uh, I just want a nice light blue sky, nice and watery. I'm leaving the rest of my palette fairly dirty. And the reason that I do that is because I have I can get some nice grays out of there. And actually I might steal some right now because the actual sky in the picture is fairly gray. And I'm just gonna go right down to the horizon because we will put in those trees in a second. All right, here's where I'm going to switch brushes because that big brush, I could do all the cutting around the cows, but I don't really want to. I'm just going to inject a little more blue in some spots. That might not look good. re-wet it again all right and then I'm just going around these cows I'm trying to leave them white um, some of them may not stay white but at least this way I can't keep track of which ones are white and which ones aren't so for now we'll just leave them as blank spaces you want to keep working while this bead is wet I don't want that to dry and then we'll get a weird line. All right, last one. Perfect. So now the goal is while this is still wet, I'm gonna I have some old green down here. So I'm taking uh, this is sap green. And I'm just going to be putting some more in there. I might actually inject some yellow for some of the tops. Ooh, that's very yellow. And we'll do some more green. We can add the darker colors. Sorry, I keep forgetting to hold this where you guys can see it. Um, some darker colors as we go down later. We might be able to if it's all still damp. Um, but for now, actually, I might just darken it up a little now. So I'm just I'm just going to put some Payne's gray. Um, there are ways that you can darken it without kind of using a convenience mixture like that. But um, uh, that's not what I'm using, just to save some time. Okay, and we want it darker near the bottom of the plants because that's where the shadows are. I'll go right up around there. Now what I could have done would be not to have gone quite so far with the, the blue and then just let the green do this instead. But um, it's fine. So I'm just going to clean up some of these edges where we have quite a bit of water pooling. And um, you can't see it, but I have a, a little rag down below. 
and I'm just picking up the water and then touching my brush to the rag to get that water off and then coming up to get some more. All right, so we're still a little damp, so I am going to put some more Payne's gray and green and we'll inject some more in there. I'm going to go a little higher up here. This is just basically plain Payne's gray. And then in here, this is still kind of damp too, so I'm just going to bring some in there. Right out to the edges here, we will go up a little few spots in there, like that. Now I'm going to do one more. I'm keeping, I'm not trying to put a lot of water um, on my brush when I do this because there's enough water sitting on the paper, and if you put too much water, you will get some blossoms. So this is pretty dark, and I'm just adding some more in. All of this will end up making it look very soft. And I don't know that I want to touch it again after this. I think I don't mind the idea of just having all of this foliage be fairly soft. If anything, I would go back and we'll maybe um, add in some uh, trunks and branches. But I think I might just leave it. Kind of depends. We'll see how things go once we get finished with the cows. Um, if they feel good enough by themselves without any more detail in the background, then great. We'll leave them. If not, we'll add a little bit more. Okay. We're going to leave that and let that dry, and then we will deal with the foreground. And then last but not least, we'll add in the cows. All right, so I know in the picture, um, the grass is, it's kind of a cool green. Um, and if I was gonna do something like that, I would probably use more of a, a cool yellow, which I don't have, because I don't really like um, cool yellows. So what I'm thinking of doing is kind of making it quite a bit warmer than it is in the picture, adding in some um, yellow ochre, um, yellow greens, and then I might actually add in some shadows. So in we don't actually see strong shadows in the in the reference picture itself. Um, so I might add some in to kind of give it more a feeling of direct sunlight. So I'm just spraying up my palette again and we will get right into, I'm gonna jump in with um, yellow ochre. All right. And I think I'll just wet kind of a larger area, Oop, just like that just to get me started. And then we will kind of just bounce around between yellow ochre, uh, sap green. Yellow ochre again. Um, just grabbing some leftover, I have some leftover kind of like greens and grays. And I'm just gonna mix some of those in for a little bit of variety. Go yellow down here and some stronger greens down in there. I don't very often, whoops, move from one, <laughs> one side to the other. I try to you normally move from top to bottom, so this is a little bit different for me. Um, and I need to make sure that I maintain this shape of that cow there. Go like that. Go around its ear. Go back to some darker greens. Again, these are just like recycled greens that I have down here on my palette. It's a good opportunity to clean clean my palette off. Might be clean by the time we're done this painting. Put some more sap green in. That's pretty strong. And I can't remember, is this a, nope, this is not a cow. Yellow ochre. I'm gonna put in some actual, um, this is like Hansa yellow, so some true yellow. I kind of like the yellow ochre better though. It's a little bit more of a muted, earthy yellow. 
Okay, I need to finish that up so we don't have bad edges there. Looks like we need some more green again. Some there. Right in underneath. Yellow ochre again. And then I'm going to finally mix in with some green again to finish this off. There we go. Looks like I left a little spot there. It's kind of dried mostly already. I'll just see if I can do that anyway. And I'm just going to take some of this dark stuff. It's kind of a greenish, darker green. And I'm just going to put some in here and there. Clean off all these spots on my palette. There, palette's almost clean. Might just wipe it down with a cloth and uh, use this rare opportunity to have both wells pretty much clean. Okay, so I'm gonna let that dry and then we will start getting into um, defining the cows and maybe adding a second layer on this stuff too. Okay, so we're on to the cows now. I'm switched to quite a small little brush. Um, I think I'll do the brown ones first, so this one here. I'm going to be using some uh, yellow ochre, and then I'll probably use some burnt sienna here, kind of a more reddish color. Um, and I am just going to do all of it. I could leave some white space up near the top, like there's that um, the little highlight, but I'm just going to make, make it yellow. Problem with the small brushes, you can't get a lot of color off at once. And I'm uh, just going soft edges here, so blending the more red into the yellow. Right down to the bottom. Now I'll just mix the two. Yellow ochre. Do the legs. And I want this neck to go back more to yellow ochre color. that and then we'll go the bottom kind of shaded part of the head there and burnt sienna again like so there's lots of little random white spots that I left that's okay and then I think what we'll do is when we put a second layer of green on we'll kind of go right up to where some of these cows are so that they don't look um, so lost in space okay um, let's do another brown one here. Uh, nope. Well, there's kind of one here in the picture that didn't happen. Let's do one over here. And do kind of a light color. Darker red. Leave some white spots, that's probably fine. Alright, so now I'm going to be using uh, Payne's Gray for the black ones. So, so, but I want to go it pretty. I uh, want it pretty strong, so that it's more like black and not gray. Although there are a couple tones, so I'll I might end up going twice. So like on this cow, for example, I'm just adding in a little bit of water because there are a couple tones here. Leave a little gap for that little white spot. Okay. And the neck is kind of all right there. The legs are white, but see, I left this random gap. So I'm just going to have like one leg coming down in the black. And then I don't know, we'll have to fix, fix that when we get to the green. Hind parts are kind of black here. Okay. Now when I go darker and just... Um, 
go into some of these spots that are darker on the picture. So like the bottom of this space here. Again, I'd, it would be nice to kind of have it be a soft edge rather than a hard one. Okay, moving on. Uh, we have a pretty much completely, oh, keep running out of water with this small brush, pretty much completely um, black cow here. Okay. I'm just, see how I've left a jagged edge there at the bottom? The thing I'm trying to do there, um, <laughs> my last painting I, I didn't really like because I didn't do this, is leave some space so that it kind of reads like the grass is in front of it. I just, otherwise it, it can look like it's floating in space. Okay, this one is a lot more like just random speckles. And then there's some like there. That looks fairly nice. Might do some more on the of the head and then the back has like a slight little almost a hint of yellow I'm just gonna oh that didn't work bled into the the other cow there I'm just gonna leave it leave it like that okay go back to the gray and we're doing some back here I probably want to make that a little more gray because it's like further back. So just go like that. This one is a little closer and it's a little more black. So go like that. I can't actually see the spot. We'll just make it up. Sure, looks great. This one, we've got some different spots here. This lends itself really well to just being a little loose and messy because it's kind of like wherever your brush goes, that's where the spots are. This one, do a few little ones like that. And then a few tiny, I need a, my mix is a little too watery. A few tiny little spots back there. Oh yeah, and this one here right in the foreground. So this one you won't need because it's right in the foreground. I want it to be, I want to make sure it is well done. So this is its face. I've actually covered over um, some of its face in green. So what I think I'm gonna have to do is any part that's green, I'm gonna have to like make it black. Um, otherwise it'll look funny. So I'm changing the way that its uh, markings are on its face. I'm going to come down and go like that. Yeah. A little more color. And then this can kind of be like its side. That's fairly, you know, a little more like how it is in the picture. And then leave some white spaces. And then it kind of has a big spot on its back. And then do that. Perfect. Okay. Uh, this guy I think will need a little more. So uh, what I'm gonna do is just go some burnt sienna and I'm gonna add in some, this is a raw umber to kind of go a darker brown. Um, and I also have to decide now if I want shadows, stronger shadows that they really need to read into the cows. And I don't know that I want them. I think I will though. So I'm gonna, pretend the sun is kind of coming from here. So the shadows are going to be mostly on this, uh, the left side of, of all of the animals. So like this one, I'm, I'm pretty much just going to leave and possibly add a little bit of shadow beside it. Um, so for the brown cow, I'm just going to add some darker brown over to this side because we're pretending that this is in shadow. Probably should go even darker down below. And that I suppose would be an issue with all of them. Would be if you would be asking ourselves, is it like if the sun was maybe coming from a little higher up, so it's not directly side sun, but um, there might be some legs that I haven't haven't made um, colored that should be 
it's like I'm just gonna put a little bit there so like this leg for example even though it's if that's in shadow I'm gonna have to add some more shadows in here let's go like that and I'm gonna add a little bit more to this guy just on this side there that night nice, that reads really nice Kind of giving you a feel like the sun's coming in from there. And then a little bit on this leg, leg. And then this brown one obviously needs a little bit of a shadow at this side. Yeah. And then this white one, I'm wondering almost if I should just touch a little in there. And then in here, I might just do the same. Okay dark there just gonna add a little more to the back of this other one here there okay uh, I'm gonna let those dry before I go and do the second layer here and that's gonna be pretty loose and messy and that will just about finish us off I'm gonna add in a few little squiggle details for some grass um, but we'll kind of bring those back to the the cows themselves and hopefully it'll all bring it together all right so we're going to do some loose and messy grass in the front so i'm taking some sap green i'm just going to darken it up a little bit with some Payne's gray sap green and i'll do some of that i'm, I'm going to put the trade down so i won't be able to show you but i'm going to do this some burnt sienna and yellow ochre and the reason i, I need to put it down because i'm going to try to cover up some of those cows and we're just gonna add in some splatters. If I had a softer brush, um, I could even just like flick it. Whoop, oh, I just touched it. Um, add in a few spots like that. Not crazy about that be nicer to have if you had like a natural hairbrush you could do that even more so I'm gonna switch now to a little brush and I'm just gonna add in a whole bunch of marks basically some different spots I'm trying not to be too oh that's like very red try not to be too purposeful um, and some of these splatters I can like add on extra marks kind of by them okay going for some more red in here I don't want these to be too um, uniform. So I don't want kind of the same marks coming oh, like that, right? Go like that. I need it a little darker. Might have the air system coming on in our house here in a second. In which case, I will make a decision depending on how loud it is if I'll pause and we'll continue in a bit or if we'll just keep keep at it. I want some darker spots in here. The shade. All right. And we need some shadows for these cows. So I want a dark green, green shadow. And I'm just going to go and add that in. Now I want it to be jaggedy because it's like it's on top of grass and whatnot. So it's just going to be like that. Here. Now this one is going to be a little bigger and I might make it a little... Oh, I don't want it too red though if it's right by the red cow. Um, but a dark shadow. Kind of a dark... Okay.
Okay, the heat is back off. It's been kind of a cold and uh, rainy day, so it was coming on a lot more than usual. And I'm just going to add in a few spots in here underneath the cow. I guess underneath this one could use some here. Not sure how I feel about this. The shadow looks a little bit messy. And I better, there's like a little white space underneath this, this cow here. So I better just add in a bit more, more black too. There we go. And then this guy needs some. Here I'm just gonna, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm just gonna like add like darker blades of grass, especially since he's right in the foreground. So that'll kind of look cool. I don't want a ton of detail, but a little bit of detail in the right places. This is where you'll get, uh, yeah, you'll just make it feel a little more realistic. So a bit there. And then I should probably add a little bit dark here. And maybe even some Blades. Okay, so we will, we're kind of close to finishing up. Um, I'm going to add a few more details on the actual cows themselves. So like this one, I'm just going to add in kind of some dark spots here, some eyes. Wow, those are weird eyes. I think I'll just go for a darker blob. And a little bit of darker spots down kind of the legs, udders here, darker line there. In here, kind of do some, a little bit darker in here. And then this one at the front, let's see. Put an eye in there. The rest is pretty loose. And it's fine being loose here. I'm going to add a bit to the ear. Maybe I'll take this dark spot all the way down like that. Yeah. All right. Add in a touch, a few more spots just to give some feeling of. Uh, a little more shape here, here, there. Okay. Now I'm going to add a few more like uh, kind of grassy marks and we will be done. Some redder ones. A few in there, and then maybe even some a little more almost yellow, especially back here. Kind of do some marks back there like that. Maybe even lighter. And we'll do a few more dark ones really at the front. Sorry, I keep forgetting to hold this where you guys can see it. So I'm going like a dark, dark green with a lot of Payne's gray in there. And we'll just do a few here. Wow, that is thick. Whoops. All right. And I'm just gonna sign it down here. Oh, let's put some some birds. You never, never not have birds. These are gonna be light ones because they're like way up. There we go. A few birds flying over. And I'm just deciding this guy needs 
to be a little darker on the back side because he's in shadow. Okay, I need to stop right there. So I'm gonna sign it and we are done. Thanks guys, I hope you enjoyed that. There will be more videos um, for different painting processes, but I have to be honest, I'm, I'm gonna be doing a lot less than I um, initially did when I first started out. I just came to realize that the time that it takes to actually get all of these videos done is, is quite a lot for me to keep up with and um, I'd, like, I'd like to still do them, but definitely not at the same amount that I was doing early on. Uh, but as always, if there's anything you'd love to see, um, I would be more than happy to do what you guys would, you know, if there's things, techniques you'd like to see, certain pictures you'd like to see, whatever. I value your feedback and uh, would love to do something that you guys would like to see. And yeah, other than that, see you in the next video.